Hello, I'm Linda, and I would like to welcome you to Savvy Health Coaching video series number three. Once again, we're dealing with menopause, but the topic is going to be foggy thinking and forgetfulness. Well, this is an extremely funny topic because when we deal with foggy thinking, we think that we are losing our mind. But in reality, you're not. It's just that you're no longer making estrogen, so you begin to forget things, simple things like where did you put the keys? Where did you put your glasses? Did you bring in all your groceries? Did you forget the kids? So those are things that we deal with that become kind of mind-boggling. But that's okay. You can blame it on menopause. So what should you do about it? Well, I always have some recommendations for forgetfulness and foggy thinking. Take advantage of them. Number one, Put things in one place and always keep it in that same location. So when you walk out the door, you'll be able to find it. Secondly, make a list. You don't want to forget the most important things. Like when you go to the grocery store. You don't have a list when you go to the grocery store. You come out with everything but the item you went in there for. Thirdly, have some reminders. Have individuals help you remember things. Uh, write things down in your calendar, um, put them in your phone, just have reminders and even have your alarms go off when it's time to do something. So don't be ashamed that you're going to forget a few things. Don't be ashamed you're going to forget some names. Just ask the individual, what's your name? I forgot your name. And remember that it's okay to forget because you're not the only one. Please take a few minutes and go to my website and you'll find out more information about menopause. I can be found at www.savvyhealthcoaching.com and my name is Linda and hope to see you again. Thank you.